magically float away. Wait, come back. Nice. The name appears. You rub it just enough. Coffee beans. And inside the sugar packet. Where did it go? What's good? Welcome back to How to Match. Oh, 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 magic! I am your host, Evan Era. I'm here today in beautiful Anaheim, California at VidCon. It's Kentucky to the beach, but it's a missus flight. Now that navigation speaks like 30 miles, make a right. 80 miles, make a left. We've been driving all night. I ain't got nothing left. I hope this ocean view is... I'm here with Dennis Rohde from How To Prank It Up channel. What's up, guys? And today we're showing you 10 magic tricks and pranks with coffee. Please give this video a thumbs up. This coffee trick, have your friend think of a name, and you're going to reveal it on a napkin. Check it out. Get a napkin, open it up, spread it out. Take some coffee and spill it right there on, on the napkin. Okay. As the coffee gets absorbed, the name appears. Mm. Tom, how did you do that? I'm about to reveal the secret. Here's how it's done. Get a white crane and you're gonna write down the name of your friend, whoever you're gonna do the magic trick to. So. Here we're gonna write down Tom. All right, now you can't see it's written. Go ahead and fold the napkin back up and perform the trick. Okay, check this out. So I've got some coffee here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put some inside my hand. Just like put a little bit of coffee grounds in there. Get that all in the hand. Okay, now all we do is just give it a little bit of a rub and look. It turns into coffee beans. See that? Those are coffee beans. Okay, so here is what you'll need to perform the trick. This is a plastic fake thumb tip. You will soon be able to get these in the Evanera TV shop coming soon. It will be announced right here. You wear this on your thumb, and when pointed this way, it is pretty much completely invisible to your audience. So what you do is you start out with a few coffee beans concealed in one of your hands like this. The thumb tip goes right there and that is what you're dumping the coffee into so you dump some coffee in everybody sees it go in your hand kind of like act like you're brushing it off and right there i stole the thumb tip out you just boom put your finger in and pull it out boom you got the thumb tip you've got the coffee grounds out of your hand all you do now is rub say some magical words abracadabra the coffee turns into coffee beans be sure to stay tuned all the way until the end of the video i am giving away five free thumb tips to five lucky viewers this coffee trick, get a sugar packet for coffee and rip it open. Dump it inside your fist. All the sugar in there. All the bootleg snacks. Now we're gonna take it and stuff that sugar inside my fist. I wanna absorb it. Where did it go? Reveal the secret? In the thumb, it's the classic prank, just repurposed, guys. You can do this prank for almost anything, like making sugar disappear. Hmm. Come taste sweet. <laughs> okay, guys, everyone knows coffee is served extremely hot. For this one, you're gonna fool people into thinking that you burned yourself on coffee. Check it out. You gotta be really careful because this coffee is really hot. Oh, I just burned myself on it. Mm, look at that blister right there. Oh, man. That thing is bubbling up already. Goodness gracious. Here, Ava, let's see if I can fix it. Come here. If I just rub it like this, look. I can actually heal the blister. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the secret behind the hot coffee burn prank. This is what you need. Some keys. These are actually the keys to our P.O. box. Speaking of, if you haven't sent us something in our P.O. box, check the address in the description and send us something. So what you do is you take a key. You need a key that has like a round hole on it like this one. So yeah, you take the key and you're going to press the hole onto your thumb just like this and it's gonna make a little raised area where you were pressing to look like a blister and then to get rid of it you simply rub for a little bit and it will disappear and that is how you do the magic hot coffee burn prank okay so you're gonna take a quarter like this hold it in your hand and just give it a rub whoa why don't you do that it just disappears just like that now what you do is you come down here to the sugar packet right here and look you tear it open inside the sugar packet the quarter. Um, you want them to be looking at it from the front like this so that when you grab the quarter, it looks like you take it in your hand. What you don't see is the quarter is actually dropping into my hand just like this. So when my hand comes over, I'm just letting the coin fall. It looks like I'm taking it into this hand. I'm actually retaining it in this hand. When I pull the sugar packet off the table, 
I'm just holding the quarter behind it. I tear the packet open and when I dump out the sugar, I just let the quarter go and it looks like it came out of the inside of the sealed sugar packet. Okay, for this one, you're gonna move a coffee straw with the power of your mind. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna take a coffee straw and we're going to move it with the power of our mind. And then without ever touching it, I'm going to make the coffee straw move. Watch. Okay, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple and I will teach you how it's done right now. So you're gonna take a coffee straw. In this case, I'm just using a regular drinking straw because it's all I've got. And this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna build up some static electricity on it, just like this. Rubbing that paper back and forth builds up friction, which creates static electricity. And then you can sit this on top of a bottle or something, like that. And then the static from the straw will allow you to manipulate it with your hands. You're not even touching it and that static charge makes the straw move and it really looks like you're kind of manipulating it with the power of your mind. And that is how you do the magic moving coffee straw trick. For this coffee trick, we're going to magically make cream and sugar appear in what seems to be black coffee. Check it out. Set this up, get some cream and pour it into a container. If you have a bigger straw, you won't need to do this, but we only have this little coffee stick straw. And what we're going to do is we're going to suck up some milk, pow, clean off the evidence, and you're going to drop it at the bottom of the black coffee. This creamer is heavier than the black coffee, so what you're doing is you're essentially just dropping cream at the bottom of the coffee cup. The bigger the straw, the less amount of times you're going to, have to do this. But remember, you want to do this very carefully, very slowly to keep the coffee black. Now, we're going to go ahead and add some sugar. Pour the sugar in. Right now, you can't tell if there's any cream or sugar in it because it's laying at the bottom layer of the coffee cup. This is a great coffee trick to pull on someone that only wants black coffee or somebody that demands to have their cream and sugar. And when you deliver the coffee to them, here you go, sir. Hey, man, I said I wanted cream and sugar. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here, let me show you a little trick. Abracadabra or whatever other magic words you know, maybe put them in the comments below. And you give the coffee cup a spin, like so. And magically. Why did you do that? Oh my gosh. This one is the magic floating coffee cup. Let's check it out. So you walk up to your marker and you're like, hey, let me see your coffee cup. Take it and say, watch, if I let go of it, it just comes out of midair, just like that. Load away, wait, come back, don't leave. Okay, here's the secret behind this awesome trick. This one is extremely simple. All you do is cut a hole in the cup, right there in the back, stick your thumb inside, and from a side view, we can all see the thumb is stuck in the back. But from the front, if you do the right acting, the proper body language, it really gives a convincing illusion that this cup is floating. It's a super easy magic trick that anybody can do. Try this one at the coffee shop, on your parents, at school, anywhere. And that is how you do the magic floating coffee cup trick. Okay, for this trick, you're gonna take two coffee stirs and make one magically pass through the other. Check it out. Okay, so here's what it looks like. You take one, sit it on top of the other one just like that, and you're gonna hold here and here. Just give it a little bit of a rub. One, rub it, whoop. Two, keep rubbing. And on three, if you rub it just enough, See it pop through. How did you just do that? I'll show you the secret of how that's done right now. Okay, so this is a really simple trick to do. All you need is two coffee stirs. All you're doing is twisting these around. And what I mean by that is on three, here's what I'm doing in slow motion. When I bring it up, I'm just turning it. So when you see this one on the bottom, it's actually the one that's turned sideways in the first place. So you're just switching them. So when it comes up, I'm turning it, and it looks like this one has penetrated through the other and popped right through it, but it's actually just that one. That's a cool trick to play on your friends and family. So it's a really easy trick to do. A little bit of practice, and you will be fooling people in no time. Okay, for this magic trick, you're going to have your mark pick a card, and then you're going to reveal it to them in a very cool way. Let's take a look. Here, Dad, pick a card. Okay. 
It's that one. Go to the camera, don't look, Ava. All right, that's my card. Back in the deck. Very good. All right, now what? You have that card in your mind? I do have that card in my mind, yes. Think about your card. Do you feel the warmth of the coffee? Yes, yes I do. Look at the name on your coffee cup. The name on it? Oh, <laughs> it says Ace of Hearts. <laughs> Nice. Okay, here's the secret behind this trick. All right, your first step is to get their coffee cup beforehand, and you're going to write the name of the card that you want them to pick. You want to write the name in close to the same place where they write it, like at a coffee shop. So I wrote Ace of Hearts on there in the exact same spot where the name would be written. Your next step is to just hand them the coffee cup like normal. Then you're going to take some playing cards, and you're actually going to force the card on them. You're going to make them pick the card that you want them to pick. Now, if you don't know how to force a card on someone, I will actually link a video right here. I'll teach you 10 cool ways to force a card. So after you have forced the Ace of Hearts on them, it's really simple. You just tell them, look at your cup. And boom, the name of the card is revealed on their coffee cup. That is how you do the magic coffee cup card reveal. All right, guys, it is giveaway time. I'm giving away five of these fake plastic magic thumb tips. All you have to do to win one is leave your craziest, randomest comment in the comment section below. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment a crazy random comment you can leave unlimited comments as many comments as you want just leave a crazy funny random comment in the comment section below so that we can all laugh at it I will pick five random comments and I will mail you your very own plastic thumb tip which will soon be available in the Avenera TV shop coming soon all right guys that is it thank you for watching if you like this video hit that thumbs up button for me be sure to share it on your Facebook or Twitter text it or email it to a friend you know what to do be sure to check out the video that Dennis and I did on his channel how to prank it up we did 10 condiment pranks really yeah. funny link in the description end card as well so click on that check it out all right guys for this prank prank at your own risk but you're gonna need some pepper and you're just gonna trickle this pepper right on his nose or right on top of his mustache and then when they wake up all right it is time to announce the giveaway winners from the last how-to magic video the winners of the magic magnetic tube tricks are these five names right here check your youtube messages thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing leave your comments below until next time thank you for coming back to evanera tv where anything is possible as long as you stay positive work hard and laugh at life